Previously, on one of the dumbest reimaginings of the Titanic story ever created, a girl and a man fall in love. Something about mice. Magic moonbeam tears make it so the girl can understand the dolphins. Evil bad guys are allies with evil sharks who wear prison outfits. The evil sharks convince a giant octopus with the face of a puppy to throw an iceberg at the Titanic? The octopus tries to save the Titanic from sinking, but dies a tragic death. But then, the whales bring everyone lost in the Titanic back to life? Tentacles the octopus is a hero? And now, the thrilling continuation, the Italian animated sequel known as Tentacolina. So, after some opening credits that show us shots of the last film, to remind us of how great that story was, this story starts off with the girl and guy from said previous film going down in a submarine. But then... Oh! Is something wrong? Uh, yes, I'm afraid so. It seems to me there are a lot of nasty looking sharks out there. Come on, boys. We've got stuff to do while we're waiting for the chief. Let's see how strong this thing is. And we're suddenly in a video game. Must not crash into underwater walls. What are you doing? What are you doing? Reading. Well, I'm watching a movie. Want to join me? Is it any good? No. Right, let's beat this dead horse. So, back to our movie. Yo, 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 look at my teeth. They're so sharp and white and neat. And there's a musical number with the shark sea captain. Look at those spazzy clams. Oh yeah. Gotta make you miss that rapping dog from that other Titanic movie. Just leave your troubles at the door, leave your worries behind, leave the rest up to me, you're gonna like what you find. Or not. So, the bad boss shark hears about the submarine, and he decides to sink the submarine because it's yellow. Did you say yellow? So, am I the only one who finds these shark fins just a little bit, uh, distracting? Yeah, that's just you. There is something definitely wrong here! Now then, what shall we do with this intruder who dared to enter our territory? Yeah, we'll we destroy him! Take it! Put him in the graveyard! We'll show him! him. Every time I do something bad, I get all emotional! Like a little fish! Isn't that right? Get out of the way! I'm coming! <laughs> I got all the time in the world to take care of the loot, but right now I have to go and brush my teeth. Come on! So, this scene is important to the plot. Oral hygiene is very important. Now nah, get to work. A telegram has to be sent straight away to the Baron Vander Tilt. Your Lordship, it is my pleasure to inform you that in accordance with your wish... The letters he hits don't even remotely match up with the shark's dictation. Look, it's Tentacles the Octopus. Who? You know, the octopus from the last movie? I think this movie is actually named after him. Oh, right. Him. It seems he's lost some weight since the last film. Well, times are tough for animated octopuses. Octopes. Octopi. She's still alive. Is he crying underwater? I have to get them up to the surface. Throwing icebergs at the Titanic is one thing. Picking up a little submarine is quite another. He's a bit out of shape in this film. And who are these people? No idea. We'll give them breathing apparatus and take them to Atlantis. Atlantis? Atlantis. I swear, if something bad happens to my friends, I'll rip every tooth out of that shark and I'll make them into the most beautiful necklace you've ever seen. I got nothing. This had better be very important. Yes, yes, it is, your lordship. It's an important message. Very important. It's from Razor Teeth. He has important news for you. I find it fascinating how casual these villains are about being in contact with sharks. Instabubble. Apply directly to the face. 
so then they march across the ocean floor to Atlantis. Huh? Hey, what's happening? Don't worry. Help! Uh, I'm dead! Come help me! Help me! Okay. This isn't happening! Keep calm. You're safe now. Keep calm. You're all safe. No, I'm dead. And you're taking me to doggy hell. And none of this is fair at all. How can you think such a beautiful place can be so evil? And my face isn't that bad looking, is it? I haven't changed into the devil, or have I? You're right! I'm so stupid not to have realized. You're beautiful! It's the shock. That was a rather sudden emotional turnabout. They've arrived safe and sound, and they're taking the treatments! <laughs> Amazing! What is that? I don't know, but I hate it already. At last, we've got a reason to party! Kill it! Kill it with fire! So, it turns out that all these weirdos are part of the royal court, and the king of Atlantis looks like... death? All we have to do is convince them there was no alternative. They could have died, or they could have been brought here, where they'll have to stay for the rest of their lives. So, it seems that perhaps the Atlanteans may have ulterior motives and be... evil. And it turns out the... spring thing's name is... Pinga. If you carry on encouraging him like this, Pimgo will become so vain he'll end up being totally unbearable. Dude, he already is unbearable. Are you telling me we'll really be able to breathe underwater without wearing any masks? You have to drink the elixir before you visit the city. Ah, here it is now. Here. Of course. Keep calm. If they wanted to harm us, they wouldn't have saved us. And this elixir is such a pretty color. Come on, drink! <laughs> yes, just trust the fish people, you stupid div. Dog thumbs. So then they tour Atlantis, which is weird looking and actually it's kind of boring. Oh, it's great to see you again! <laughs> you know, for a title character who's on the cover of the box, He's not in this mud. Buckingham Palace Guards? Aren't those toys? Yes! I never had a life-size soldier when I was a little boy. So, it turns out that not only do animals talk and fish people live in Atlantis, but toys are also brought to life. Allow me to introduce myself and welcome you here. I'm Pingo. Go, Go away, away, Pingo. We, we all hate you. you you'll be able to live in peace and serenity. I don't like the huh? sound of that. It's like one of those things you see written on uh -huh. a tombstone. There's something very fishy going on here, guys. Enough with your suspicions. We've got another musical number for you. A musical number featuring... Pingo. Have you noticed how most of the toys here look less like toys and more like... life-sized dolls? Coming to my shelf, I've got some custard time Every single day, it's all about party time It's fun and games! This song can't even carry a tune for 10 seconds. One thing I've got to tell you, up there, you can't go back. And then we just cut to two old people listening to the radio for a few seconds. From now on, Atlantis will be your home, and you will not be able to leave it ever again. Uh -huh. Your Majesty, on the contrary, it's better that we were told about the situation right away. And I have to say, your counselor informed us in the most amusing way. So, it seems they're cool with that, so I guess that means the king is not a bad guy. So what is the plot of this film? No idea. You know, I thought the sharks and the dude with the eye patch would be the villains at first, but I haven't seen them for a while. Maybe there is no plot. How far in are we? More than a third? I just... I feel like this movie has been nothing more than a series of weird characters and places being introduced to us, one after another after another. Look, more new characters. Love at first sight. Well, pirate and Asian stereotype rat tell the mice that they know a way they can leave Atlantis. You can never be too prudent, but you can trust us, you know. And the search for the movie's plot leads the mice and rats flying down a series of pipes. But enough of that, let's get back to doggy romance.
back to the tunnels. So, the rats meet in a secret underwater place, where they plan to steal the elixir, escape from Atlantis, and take over the world with the help of the elixir. Because breathing underwater is all that is needed for rats to become invincible world conquerors. That makes perfectly logical sense. Oh, and they're allies with razor teeth, the shark at the beginning of the movie too. It's all coming together now. Well, sort of. And I'm this man with that stupid soft toy being all myself! Is it bad that I'm rooting for the villains? Dude, the enemy of Pingo is my friend. 